<laughs> you got all over your cheek. If you smell it, does it kind of smell like wet dog? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Good afternoon, guys. Hello. Today we are at World Market because we decided to do a fun little series called Taste Of. So since we can't travel right now, we thought we might look up some fun snacks that other countries have, come to our local World Market to see if they have them, and do a little tasting for you guys. See what we can find in there. Yeah. So we're going to go into World Market. Today we're going to do a Taste Of Australia. So let's get geared up. Get geared up with these masks here. And head on in. Does anybody want liquid rage? I do. <laughs> Tim Tams. Mint slice. Pavlova. Thunderbird. Violet Crumble. Since we can't do much traveling, we thought, what goes with travel, no matter where you travel to? And that's food. When people travel, they want to try food from the place they are visiting, of course. So today we decided to do a little taste of snacks from a country that we would both love to visit, that we have no plans to visit yet, but that just looks absolutely stunning in everything we see. And there's quite a few YouTubers that we follow and that follow us that actually live in Australia. So we thought, let's try snacks from Australia. We tried to get some other ones, but unfortunately we couldn't because the, we go to a place called the World Market and they didn't have everything that we wanted to get. So we just got a few of them. And to buy them on like Amazon or something like that, it was literally like twenty dollars yeah, for uh, a bag of chips. Yeah, cheesels, I think they're called. It was like twenty-seven dollars for like a ten pack of little small bags of chips. So we did find four snacks that we're gonna try. One that we're gonna make. It's really easy. And then there's also a beverage from Australia that our favorite YouTubers, Jess and Steve from Flying the Nest always drink so we saw it at world market we are like we have to try it so let's oh let me tell you guys where i got the ideas for these so i googled australian snacks and there was an article from buzzfeed that came up it's called 19 australian snacks every american needs to try immediately by caroline key so that's where i got the idea for these snacks so the first one that we are going to try, it's not legit like how it's supposed to be. It's pavlova, which looks like that, but obviously we couldn't find one like that. However, we did find pavlova cookies. So that's gonna be the first thing that we try. They're meringue cookies, which I'm not a fan of meringue. Have you ever eaten? No, I don't like meringue too much. All right, take your pick, sir. All right, so we're trying our first one. Let's see um, if we like it. It's not bad. It's really light. It's very light, very airy. You don't really taste the I meringue. taste the chocolate on the bottom of the meringue. Yeah, I just taste the chocolate. This isn't bad at all. You got all over your cheek. If you smell it, does it kind of smell like wet dog? Oh, geez. It definitely doesn't taste like it smells. Yeah. Oh, it totally smells like wet dog. It's what not is bad that? tasting, but it does not smell good. It smells like wet it dog. Smells like a wet dog. That's so weird. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that is so gross. But I'll eat the chocolate. The chocolate's good. The next snack is something I'm sure you've all heard of. 
and it is one of the best things on earth. We've tried it once before. It's amazing. It is da -da -da -da. Tim Tams. Oh yeah, baby. The author says, LOL Oreos, stay in your lane. Australia's chocolate biscuit and chocolate cream layered creation is the holy grail of packaged cookies. Let's see if they're telling the truth. Let's see. Oh, and they have them, they have them in different flavors. We got the original. Mmm, mmm, mmm. These are delicious. I'm not gonna say that they're better than Oreos, because Oreos hold Oreos a high place good. for me. But these are right there. These are really good. The chocolate melts extremely easily, I have to say. And there's a thing called a Tim Tam Slam that you have to do if you ever get Tim Tam. What you do is you bite one corner off and then another corner off, put it in your coffee, you sip up the coffee like a straw, and then what that does is it disintegrates the cookie so then you just stick the whole cookie in your mouth and it melts like butter. It is so good. Mm -mm. Next up is Violet Crumble. This little pup right here. I've never seen this one anywhere before. Neither have I. And we almost missed it at the store. It was at the on the bottom shelf, but I saw it just last minute. So for this one, the author says, these chocolate covered crunchy honeycomb bars are the most addicting, orgasmic candy ever. They are too good to be compared to anything in America or anywhere else, really. So you'll just have to try them for yourself. Be right back, booking my flight to Sydney. Bye. It's the way it shatters that matters. Bye, the crumb. It looks like a... Butterfinger, that's the word. See that? It just, it looks like a Butterfinger to me. It smells a little minty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Find out. Let's find out. Okay. I didn't expect it to be hard like that one. No. Mm -hmm. It's like chocolate mint. Yeah. Doesn't taste like honey at all. I don't mind this. It's pretty good. It's not my favorite, but it's good. I wouldn't go out of my way to give it. Mm -mm. But I ain't throwing that away. I would have to say the author was wrong. It's not so amazing, but it's good. It's okay. All right, next on the list is Mint Slice. And this one says, some people would go as far as to say these are better than Thin Mints. I am one of those people and I have no regrets. Slowly takes off old Girl Scout sash full of badges and walks away. They look like the Thin Mints too. They smell like York peppermint patties. Yep, for sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's very much. Cheers. Yeah, that's a Girl Scout Thin Mint. They're a little bit maybe thicker than the Thin Mints. Yeah. But this tastes exactly like a Girl Scout Thin Mint. Mm -hmm. It's good. It is good. I, like I don't know if you little, can see, they're kind of layered. There's a little more chocolate. Mm -hmm. And these. I thought they would be mintier because of the mint cream, mm -hmm. but they're not. They taste exactly like Thin Mints. Yeah. All right, the next thing we're gonna try is a beverage, not a snack, which is Bundabug. 
And this, this is the one that our favorite YouTubers, Jess and Steve from Flying the Nest drink all the time. So hopefully we like it. I usually like like ginger ale and stuff. So hopefully I like it, but I have a feeling this might be like really strong. I'm not a fan of ginger, so. I would just like to say that it is starting to smell like dog hair more and more. <laughs> yeah, that logo smells like wet dog. It really does. It smells like very potent ginger ale. I was going to say it has a hint of Sprite smell to it. Yeah. Cheers, Mike. <laughs> it tastes like a, a flat Schweppes is what it tastes like. It burns the throat. It doesn't burn my throat. It's burning my throat. It literally tastes like a flat Schweppes is what it tastes like to me. There's not much bubbles in it. There wasn't when we poured. Not anymore. No, the bubbles are gone. And it's not as sweet as the Schweppes, which is fine, but... Yeah. Flat Schweppes, guys. Flat Schweppes. And the final item that we are going to be having is... Fairy Bread! What? So, Fairy Bread... I don't know what these Australians are thinking, but literally white bread, butter, and hundreds and thousands of Rainbow sprinkles. Before you say anything, just try it and you will be a changed person. Let's see if you're right. About 100,000. That's what it said to do. And you're not supposed to toast the bread. And they said the important part is it has to be cut this way, diagonally. Why is that so important? I don't know, that's what they said. Whoa, 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 whoa. I mean, it looks lovely, it's so cute. I'm not like, oh my god, I have to have this every day with my coffee, but it works. It's good. It's good? Yeah. Ooh. I can't really taste the sprinkles. I taste mostly butter. I can taste like, like the. It's like, like crunchy butter. I taste a little bit of the sweetness in the sprinkles. I got a little more on that one. Yeah, just a little. Yeah, it's good. It's fine, right? Yeah. yeah. It's not something that I keep making, though. Yeah, no. So, upon further investigation, <laughs> I randomly decided to take a sip of the Bundaberg directly from the bottle. And if you drink it directly from the bottle, it has way more bubbles and it's sweeter. So I guess we have to retract our previous statement that it's a flat Schweppes. It tastes exactly like Schweppes if you drink it directly out of the bottle. And I actually think it tastes good coming out of the bottle. It's actually a lot sweeter in the cup and with ice, it was like watered down or something. Oh, no good. It's so gross. Yeah, it was the weirdest maybe thing. Maybe the carbonation gets lost when you pour it in the cup. Over ice, or maybe like when you put it over ice. Maybe. It does something to it, but I guess just stick it in the fridge and drink it straight out of the bottle. Right Don't the add bottle. ice, just yeah, it's good like out that. of the bottle. So good. <laughs> and it's pretty darn good. It tastes like Schweppes. 
just a tiny bit stronger on the ginger at the end. So I can feel a little burn now, but it, it's nothing. So we like the burn. <laughs> All right guys, that's gonna be it for this video. If you've been with us for a long time, you know this isn't our usual style of video. We usually like to be out doing stuff, but we just wanted to try something new. So let us know if you like this, if you think it's something we should do for other countries, and if you have suggestions for snacks for us to try from other countries, or if there's an Australian snack that you've had that you enjoyed. So let us know down in the comments. And if you made it to this part of the video, please, please, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up and then if you're not already following us on instagram go connect with us over there because we post lots of pictures and i personally love instagram so i'm always on there trying to respond to everybody um and yeah that's it so thank you guys so much for watching we really appreciate it and have a good night have a good night bye, bye.